Hey guys, it's Tim from Bent Revolution in Odessa, Florida, and today I'm going to take a look at the HP Velotechnic FS20 SE for the laid back bike report. Let's go. This one is loaded. Pretty much every option you can have. There's a few things it doesn't have, but it's got most things. So let's start right at the front. In the front of the bike, you'll see that it's got the Shimano Steps drive. That's controlled by this panel back here. Uh, it's a really great system. It gives you up to 20 miles per hour, and it gives you about a 70 mile range. Probably a little bit more in Florida, because it's flat, but uh, it's a terrific system. You can put a headlight, have it wired. This one has a wired headlight and tail light. I don't know if you can see that, but see my hand is turning red. So you can see there's a tail light back there. Um, like I said, it's got pretty much everything going for it. Uh, it's got the optional mirror, it's got fenders, it's got wrist rest, parking brake, uh, dual locking brakes, water bottles, an air shock, headrest, I think I may have mentioned that, rack, and a frame lock. So let's start with just the basics. Um, this one has a, an 11 speed DI2 shifting system. So what that means is the, the derailleur back here is electronically controlled by the, by the step system. So, so what that means is there's really no hesitation when you shift it. It just goes right to it and it's all electronic. So you know it's not gonna have any cable stretch because there is no cable, it's all electronic. And it fires very quickly up and down the gear set to give you the right range. Um, while we're in the back here, we'll talk about this. has a high, high capacity battery, so that gives you a really long riding time, 70 or more miles probably. In the front, there's a standard McPherson strut, like HP uses in their other bikes, and you can see it has both uh, an elastomer as well as a coil and a spring. So it really gives you a lot of travel. Of course, I can't really give it a, uh, I'm, I'm too weak. I can't really give it a great compression, but you get a lot of travel with this. So it's really a nice uh, suspension system. I think it's probably the best suspension system that you can get on a bike. In the back, there's an air shock. This is a rock shock air shock. And the way this works is you actually um, sit on the bike and it'll determine how much you weigh, believe it or not. And it'll tell you how much pressure to put in the, in the uh, shock to counteract that. So it's adjustable for people of all sizes. This may be just the best bike you can get. If you're, uh, if you're looking for a suspension bike, this may be the one to get. The HP Velotechnic FS20 has a weight limit of 285 pounds. So if you're above that, you may want to consider the FS26, which has a 325 pound weight limit. That gives you a little bit more uh, room to work with if you're, if you're a larger person. I suppose the next thing we should do is take it for a ride. The great thing about this cassette is that it's got a massive range. It's got a very small high gear down here and a very large low gear. So even though you have just the one set of gears, it's got such a big range that you really won't need anything more than that. And with the pedal assist, it really takes all the guesswork out of it. You just put it in a comfortable gear and pedals. Just a flick of the button and it goes right up or right, right down. So the bike folds in half, so the seat is adjustable. There's three points of adjustment, as with all HP bikes, the back, the middle, and the front. 
So that gives you some room to adjust it, although the back is gonna stay straight. So uh, if you want adjustments here, you need to get the premium seat. And that premium seat is, I think, $220 more for this bike if you order it new. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button, hit the bell button, subscribe, and check us out at bentrevolution.com, or come visit us right here in Odessa, Florida. Thanks.